hi it's me again obviously because you clicked on my video you know it's me um ignore that trash bag back there um it's just full of clothes that i want to donate because i have like i i go and i shop at thrift stores so i get clothes really cheap so i get so many clothes and then i end up like two weeks later i'm like eh. and then yeah so i shouldn't do that and i actually haven't done that in a while but i have i went through cleaning my room about a week ago and i have lots of trash bags of clothing that i would like to donate um to the lgbt center in my area um today i figured <laughs> i kind of want to rant or whatever about um comparing like with having cf um comparing myself to like people who don't have cf and like not on purpose doing it but like like why i do it um and how i am hopefully helping myself not do that um so if you don't know this if you don't have cf you probably don't know this or you might know this i don't know but um people who have cf are not are like highly requested or whatever advised um to not be around each other um sometimes it's not possible like if your sibling or your parent also has cf you know you can't just never ever be around them um but like in general you don't have like groups of people with cf because um because we get sick so easily <clears throat> and uh because there's certain germs that don't really manifest in people without cf um so not only we can get sicker easier um and we can basically infect each other a lot easier than um someone without cf can inf infect us basically um <clears throat> and i never really thought much about it as a kid like i like growing up i knew i had cf and I knew, like, I did my treatments, and I had to take, um, my enzymes and all that kind of stuff. So, like, I knew that I was, like, different than other people, but, like, other than that kind of, like, minuscule stuff, um, that didn't really affect me, you know, unless I was having a sleepover, or if I was, like, out with friends, or, like, I, I guess my mom always carried my medicine, because I didn't have, like... A bag. I had to go to the nurse before lunch at school, but, like, that didn't bother me, because then I got, I actually got to leave class early, and I got to be the first one at lunch to sit down and all that stuff, um, so, like, none of that, like, it wasn't a big deal, um, and still, like, I don't, I don't feel weird about taking my medicine in front of people, sometimes people are, like, because, literally, I have to take six, hold on, let me see if I can find them, I think, I think I have them in my bag. Yeah, I don't know, that's better. So they're called Zenpep. <laughs> Literally, okay. Whatever. Um, and they're, like, big. They're, like, maybe more than half an inch long. Like, if I, yeah, you can see it's, like, taller than my lips. And I, when I eat, like, a normal size, well, a big meal, um, with a lot of calories, I take six of them, and I can take them all at once, um, because I'm just used to it. Uh, <laughs> I learned how to swallow pills. I used to open them up and dump them in applesauce, and one time, we were out of, well, my mom would put applesauce in this little container with a lid, and we ran, or I ran out of applesauce in there, so I would have had to get a new container to put the applesauce in, and I was lazy, so I just learned how to swallow pills on the spot, and it worked. So sometimes being lazy pays off. Um, moral of the story. Just kidding, don't be lazy. But, um, anyways. Uh, yeah, so I take those pills before I eat. Um, and now I also have insulin shots that I do, um, which isn't a big deal. Like, most people in the world, if they see you injecting yourself, they 
kind of assume you have diabetes, like, because, like, it's common enough that people know what that is and how it works and stuff. Um, but the way that I see myself comparing myself to other people, because I don't get much interaction with other people with CF, I might see, I might see some people on YouTube or some people on Instagram, um, <clears throat> But, like, <clears throat> overall, I'm surrounded by people who do not have CF. And, um, I, I get really, or I can, not always, um, but I've noticed, uh, especially as I've been getting sicker, I've been getting really frustrated, um, and really, like, angry at myself, um, because, like, I see, I, a, a little while ago, I think I mentioned this in one of my other videos, but... Um, I used to be a manager at a salon, um, I didn't own the salon, but we're like run by a big company and I was the manager there. And as a manager, you have to work 40 hours. Um, and back in July, so about, what was the end of July? So I don't know, like four or five, six months ago, um, I stepped down because I just could not work 40 hours and, and take care of myself. Um, I was always exhausted, I was like almost falling asleep at work, I was sick, I was going to the hospital then like a lot more frequently because I couldn't take care of myself. Um, and while I was <coughs> definitely happy with the fact that I could step down and still make enough money to live, um, and like survive and like I didn't have to worry too much financially, um, it was, I felt frustrated that I didn't have the same opportunities as my non-chronic illness friends, humans around me, um, I wasn't even a big fan of managing, I actually began managing about six months into being a hairstylist. Um, there was a salon in our district that needed a manager and my district leader wanted to promote me. So I said, okay, uh, cause I had been a manager at a grocery store before. And um, so I transferred and uh, got promoted and it was a really slow salon, but I was still getting paid more because I was managing. Um, and it was the beginning of my career, and I didn't necessarily, I knew I didn't want to stay at the salon that I was at, um, so it was, like, kind of like, okay, like, this is a step forward, um, and it was good for the time being, but anyways, um, stepping down wasn't an issue, and I actually really enjoy, gosh, it's so hot in here, um, I actually really enjoy just being a stylist and not having to worry about the other stylists and making sure that they're doing what they're supposed to do and the paperwork and all that. Um, so all in all, being a stylist is like what I enjoy, but the fact that I can't be a manager because I'm sick, um, is something that I don't enjoy. Uh, I like to have options even if I don't want to take them. Uh, I know a lot of other people like this where like, like, I don't even want to do the thing, but now that you told me that I can't, now I want to do it. Um, and that's kind of how I feel about a lot of life. So now I work four days a week, six-hour shifts. So I work 24 hours a week. Um, and it's, it's way nicer. Um, but it, like I said, it's, it's frustrating that if I want to, I, I really can't work. I mean, I technically could work more than that, but I would be so exhausted, and sometimes I even feel like that, like that 24 hours a week can be a lot if I'm really busy, um, and that's frustrating. I don't like to feel limited, and like, obviously, when you have a chronic illness, now it's cold in here, but when you have a chronic illness, it definitely has great potential to limit you, because it's like regardless of what the chronic illness is it's changing your body or making your body different than everyone else's in the way that it functions um so 
it's really hard to like remember that it's okay that my body functions differently than those around me um it's hard for me to remember that from my perspective um but it also gets hard like when I'm at work so uh, I remember what day was it it was Tuesday Tuesday I was at work and when I went in I think I only had one client in my book but then someone came in uh for a color service which um it was like a, it wasn't like super complicated but it took like more time a lot of standing a lot of checking up on her hair and stuff and then um so I had her and then I had my client that was scheduled and I was kind of bouncing back and forth and then I had another person walk in for a haircut um so it was like like even that like it was three clients normally like if I was healthy I would not have thought twice about it but like by the end of that shift I was dead like I was sitting down I couldn't really breathe very well um granted my lungs were off that day too they were just uh, that day but um I was really really worn out by the end of my shift which was only six hours and had three clients and it and it was like a little more stressful than usual but it was not like it was not you know super quick paced um and I like I don't I don't like that it wore me down and I don't like that I, I don't know like it just it feel it makes me feel like like I'm weak I guess um and like I don't like feeling that way um and like okay so when that third client walked in that he wasn't in my book and I was bouncing between the other two like obviously we had to tell him to wait um but all the other stylists were busy and I was like the next one to free up and like not that I I, I if I'm scheduled to work I believe that I should be working um but like I really wanted to be like look like I'm really worn out can somebody else take him when they finish up um but like my worry with that is that it just looks like I'm being lazy um or that I'm just like not in the mood and I don't want other people to think that of me either um so even if I accept for myself that like okay I need to calm down and like not do so much sometimes I'm afraid <laughs> that other people won't understand and um that's upsetting as well um I don't care as much how other people feel about me as I used to um especially since coming out as trans you kind of learn that like oh people are just gonna suck sometimes um, not everybody's gonna understand you, and that's something that I've been learning my whole life, but, like, I'm definitely much further at learning that now. Um, but, yeah, so it's, it's hard to figure out what, what I should be expecting of myself, because I like to push myself. I don't, I, I don't want, like I said, I don't want to feel limited, and also, I don't want to be, like, <coughs> using CF as, like, an excuse, like, oh, I don't want to do this, I have CF, like, that probably sounded really weird the way I said that, but, like, oh, I, I, I don't want to do this, I, I'm not feeling well or whatever, <clears throat> I believe in pushing through things and that, that's, um, a very desirable trait to have, and so I try to have that, um, but sometimes I don't know what, <coughs> like, how far is too far, and I don't know how to know that, because I don't know anybody else with CF, and I don't know anyone else in the same situation to compare myself to, um, and so it can be a little bit isolating and a little bit confusing and, like, frustrating in those regards, um, and, yeah, so I don't like that, um, I, 
And like, like, okay, so I see people who have CF, it is important to exercise. Granted, it's like negative a zillion degrees outside, so I am not about to go outside. But I have thought about once I clean my room, which I think I plan on doing today, but I probably will not. Um, even if I just do some sort of exercise in my room. Um, and that wears me out. But it's like, is that wearing me out to the point where I'm getting sicker because I'm worn out? Or is that wearing me out because it's exercise and like, that's what exercise does. Um, and so it's like, I'm kind of trying to find this balance to figure out where I fit. Um, Cause I don't want to push myself too hard, but at the same time, I really hate saying like, I can't do this because I have CF. Um, because it never used to be an issue growing up. I played soccer. Um, I sucked, but I played. <laughs> um, I did art. I exercised. I remember even just a few years ago, I was, it was once I was moved into this house. So it was, uh, within the past like three years, I w in the summertime I would go running and I would cough, but I would do it and I would feel good afterwards. And like now I know if I, or I would imagine if I went on a run, I would be like passed out. Um, so I don't know how to push myself without pushing myself too hard. I don't really know what my limits are and I don't know <clears throat> uh, necessarily how to accept the fact that in some ways I am limited. Um, it's, it's difficult to figure out where, where I am in terms of my health because, like, I mean, I have my doctors, you know, that tell me, like, numbers look good if they're here, or, like, your numbers were here a while ago or whatever. Um, but then I also see things like, um, sometimes doctors say, oh, your, your lung function is down at a certain point, and, you know, you'll never get past this certain point, even when you do get better, and then these people work really hard and exercise and do all this stuff, and they actually succeed what their doctors told them, um, and so, like, sometimes your doctors aren't even right, not to, like, I'm not trying to, like, talk poorly about doctors, because, like, I know I've told people as a hairstylist, your hair won't get that light, and like, <laughs> well, I was wrong, but you do kind of want to under-promise, because if you over-promise and then it doesn't happen, that's not good. But anyways, <clears throat> <clears throat> I don't know, it's, uh, it's an interesting, no, no, interesting is not the right word, it's a frustrating thing to not know, um, not know how hard to push yourself. Um, and then I also have troubles because I need to push myself because if, if I figure out that I can only work one day a week, well, I still have to pay. I pay for my car. I pay for my car insurance. Um, I pay a small bit of rent where I live now because I basically just pay for what I use, so it's very small compared to, like, real rent, um, which I'm very fortunate for, <coughs> but I am looking <coughs> to move out, um, hopefully by the summer, and so I will need money for real rent, so I kind of have to push myself to get that money. Um, uh, what else do I pay for? gas, food, you know, the usual, but, um, be all that stuff, um, I can't just say, oh, I can't make money, because then I, like, I'll literally just, like, die, like, <laughs> and that's not, that's not good, so, um, yeah, I guess I just wanted to, like, explain or rant or talk or whatever um about being limited I because I, I really I really don't like that like in any sense even if it doesn't have to do with CF 
like I don't like not having opportunities I like to say here's everything now you choose instead of like well here's your portion and that's all there but you're not good enough or you're not healthy enough or you're not blank enough to have that as an option because I'm, I don't know that's just how I am so anyways yeah I'll see you next time.